Harris Energy as well. We're really committed to understanding the new energy realities of what electric transportation means for us. Uh, and that continues and fits nicely with our commitment to providing reliable, affordable energy to all of our customers. This is an excellent, excellent fit to that as well. We can take one step further and say that we also want to be committed to being the transportation fuel supplier for these vehicles. Today we're going to get into what the value proposition is for electric transportation. I'm sure most of the folks here in the room have heard it over and over again, but there are still people that wonder what's in it for them if they drive an electric vehicle. I'm going to touch basic, uh, just a little bit on our roadmap and some of our current initiatives. Uh, this is not meant to be an advertisement for Progress Energy. It's meant to talk about the societal benefits of electric transportation. And also, I'm going to provide you a call to action at the end of my presentation. That's code speak for homework. So I'm going to provide you a few challenges and, and try and get you guys excited and committed about figuring out what would be a good next step for bringing electric transportation into your organization. Uh, why plug in electric vehicles? What's the value proposition or what are the societal benefits to having electric transportation on board? There's a whole energy independence argument that we, we're, we've been discussing these days. We hear news about possible closing of the Straits of Hormuz. We're struggling with the gas prices escalating uh, every week. Um, also, there's a whole climate control and, and climate change and air quality uh, uh, argument about the vehicles as well. It's not only cheaper to fill up the, at the plug instead of the pump, it's cleaner to fill up at the plug instead of the pump. Also, energy cost, if you look at energy cost per mile of most PEVs, it's two to five cents a mile compared with 12 to 15 cents a mile for traditional gasoline vehicles. And then of course, there's a whole economic development argument here. Uh, there's folks in the room here that I know, and myself included, that are working in green jobs because of this type of uh, uh, this type of technology, and we're seeing that over the country in a lot of areas of electric transportation, whether it's automobile manufacturing, charging station manufacturing, uh, analytics going on at national labs, whatever. Here's our uh, vision statement for electric transportation. We want to be known as a reliable, prepared, and respected leader in the supply of electricity to get you from point A to point B. And we also want to help advance the technology and infrastructure uh, to save you money and help you make decisions that will impact our uh, uh, climate in a positive manner. Uh, just a, a brief snapshot of some of our projects and some of our collaboration that's going on right now. Uh, we work through a lot with our Project Get Ready partners at the national and local level. Uh, we have a, a Get Ready Tampa Bay chapter here, at which at the end of my presentation, I go through a few brief slides to bring you up to speed with some of their initiatives. And of course, a lot of national collaboration with the Department of Energy, EPRI, EDTA, and Edison Electric Institute. This is an example of what the power of pulling together means. When I started out in electric transportation with the state of Florida and then with Progress Energy a few years ago, all of us were working in silos. There was very little collaboration going on except at the national laboratory level and the DOE had some collaboration going on and there were clean cities groups around the country. But I'm starting to see this happening more and more and more on a regular basis. And I just want to encourage you, don't try and go this alone in your own organization or your own personal life. Reach out to those folks that can help you be successful with this technology. Uh, here's a few of our current hardware initiatives as far as rolling stock is concerned. Um, we're integrating vehicles in a very aggressive manner into our fleet. And um, our proposed merger company, uh, Duke, uh, is extremely aggressive in electric transportation as well. So if the merger takes place uh, uh, um, as planned and as hoped for, um, it would be one of the uh, largest electric transportation uh, research and integration fleets in the country. And we're already very, very close to some of the California utilities. There are some utilities that are out there, of course, that might have more vehicles in the fleet than us, but I believe that uh, we are one of the largest in the nation as far as integrating, integrating the vehicles.
testing them, research projects, etc.